Good morning, fifth grade. We are going to continue reading in our Civil War text. Today we are going to focus on the election of 1860. Um, and we have an election coming up that many people have compared to this election of 1860. Um, and so we'll want to see um, what exactly the big controversy was about in the election of 1860. Let's go ahead and complete our quick write that says, what do you already know about Abraham Lincoln? You need to write at least two sentences. Um, think back to the gallery walk that we did or your background knowledge. Um, press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for to continue. Our focus question for the day is why was the election of 1860 important? Our vocabulary words are abolitionist, that's someone who wants to end slavery in the United States. So we would draw a picture, a line to this picture that says abolitionist movement. And you see like the chains are being broken, like they want slavery to end. Um, party, and this has multiple meanings, but the meaning of the word party in our text today has to do with a political group who have um, similar ideas and they want to take part in government or making laws. And so we would draw a picture to this one with the elephant and the donkey. Um, we know that the elephants represent the Republican Party and the donkey represents the Democratic Party. And then lastly, we have strategic. That's relating to long-term goals and how to achieve them. And so we would draw a line to strategy. Turn the page in your notes and open up your text to the election of 1860. And we know that when we read a nonfiction text, we always want to find the main idea first. And so we're going to turn this title into a how or why question. And so we don't need to, know, we don't need to say how was the election of 1860. Um, we, are, we already know that it happened. Um, we know that people vote. We don't really need to know how did it happen. Um, but we could say, why was the election of 1860 important? And we, we would want to write that down in box one. Why was the election of 1860 important? Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready to read. And we are going to underline the answer to that question as we read. So let's get ready at in the presidential election. In the presidential election of 1860, slavery was the main topic of debate. I'm going to underline that because that gives me a clue about why this election was important. People were debating about slavery. The Constitution Party said slavery and the Constitution should be left as they were. The Democratic Party split into two groups, those who supported slavery and those who wanted a compromise. The six-year-old Republican Party opposed slavery. Its candidate was Illinois attorney Abraham Lincoln, a man with little experience in government. Lincoln won the election. His opponents were outraged. So I underlined his opponents were outraged because um, this tells me a little bit more about why it was important. People were very upset when Abraham Lincoln was elected. Some even demanded the election be declared invalid and repeated. Um, so not only, it's not that people wanted to recount the votes, it's that they wanted to redo the entire election. Pro-slavery Americans were expected to accept a leader they did not want. They took radical action instead. And I underlined that part about pro-slavery Americans um, because it gives me a clue about why this election was so important. Um, people were so upset that Abraham Lincoln was elected um, that they kind of took matters into their own hands. And we're going to get to that um, idea on Friday. All right, so now I have enough information for my main idea and I'm going to um, kind of put these ideas together into one idea. So I would say in box one, the election of 1860 was important 
because the major issue debated between the parties was slavery. When Abraham Lincoln was elected, the southern states were upset that the president did not embrace their ideas. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you are ready for number two. For number two, we're going to go to this picture of Lincoln and with the title that says Candidate Lincoln. And as we read it out loud, we are wondering why didn't Lincoln distribute pictures of himself while he was running for president? Let's read. In Lincoln's time, presidential candidates did not make many personal appearances. Their supporters did the traveling and made the speeches. Printed portraits of the candidates were posted on walls or passed around to friends. Several candidates embraced new technology and distributed photographs of themselves. Lincoln, however, was not regarded as a handsome man and pictures of him were rarely seen. Many people who voted for Lincoln had no idea what he looked like. And so if I'm going back in this text to figure out why didn't Lincoln distribute pictures of himself, this should be a question mark. Um, I know that, that the text tells me that's because he wasn't a handsome man. And so Lincoln didn't want to distribute pictures of himself because he didn't want to deter people from voting for him. He thought maybe people wouldn't vote for him if they found out that he was ugly. So he did not distribute pictures of himself. So let's write down our answer in box two. Lincoln did not distribute pictures of himself because he was not considered handsome. Therefore, pictures would not help him get more votes. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the second part of box two. Why did the author, why, what is the author trying to communicate by using a large colored picture of Lincoln. And so um, we know that the author is going to use large pictures and color pictures to signal importance. Um, the author is drawing our eye with this large colorful picture of Abraham Lincoln. And so in box, the second part of box two, we would write, the author is trying to communicate that Lincoln was an important part of the election of 1860. This is because he won. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for number three. We're at the bottom left-hand corner where it says parade torch. And we want to know why was a parade torch used? Let's read. In the middle 1800, supporters of all parties held rallies for their candidates. Since these events often took place at night, marchers carried parade torches like this one. The flames lit the way for candidates, supporters, and marching bands as they walked through towns and villages chanting campaign slogans. And so if I go back in this caption, I know that the parade torches lit the way for candidates, supporters, and marching bands as they walked through the towns. Um, so let's write down our answer in the first part of box three. Parade torches were used because supporters held rallies for their candidates at night, and they needed to see as they chanted their slogans down the street. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you are ready for the second part of box three. What could the torch symbolize at a political rally? And so... The torches were used to light the way, and light the way is a phrase you could, um, you could use that also has symbolism. If someone is lighting the way, um, they are directing people to the truth. Um, and so we could say at the bottom of box three, we could say a torch could symbolize that a candidate will light the way for a nation the next four years. A light is a positive image and suggests that the candidates will do a great job. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you are ready for number four. We are on the next page um, that talks about candidate Douglas. And the first thing we want to do is describe Stephen Douglas. Let's get ready to read. 
Democrat Stephen Douglas was a famous politician in 1860. He was a skilled speaker and a likable man. In 1858, Abraham Lincoln ran against him for his Senate seat, debating him in public several times. Although Lincoln lost that election, the debates introduced the little-known politician to the American public. And if I go back um, in this caption, I know that Stephen Douglas was a skilled speaker and a likable man. And I'm going to write that down for the first part of box four. Stephen Douglas was a skilled speaker and a likable man. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you are ready for the next part. How did Douglas help advance Lincoln's political career? And if I go back in this caption, it says that although Lincoln lost the election, the debates introduced the little-known politician to the American public. So that tells me that Lincoln was not well-known before the debate with Douglas. After the debate, he became more popular. Press pause to write down your answer and play when you're ready for the second for the paragraph. All right, our paragraph says, why was the election of 1860 important? How does the author use text features to communicate his message? And if I'm going back in my notes, I would probably use box one and box two to help me write my paragraph. And I would make sure that I have direct quotes from the text um, that I probably underlined during my listening to help support my answer.